For this video, I'm going to talk about some different ideas, helpful things, hopefully, for perspective drawing and, and thinking about a relatively uh, thin box shape that will come in handy lots of times um, if you're drawing frames, a picture frame, for example, or just all a lot of different scenarios. I'm going to do this one in one-point perspective. And in particular, because I find it pretty tricky to uh, to think of which way these lines head and aim towards the vanishing point. So hopefully this video will help clarify that. Um, let's set up a, a little one-point perspective drawing interior room kind of like the example. I'm just going to create something that would be sort of a a back a back wall that we might be looking straight at or sitting such that we're looking straight at it. Um, perhaps we're sitting in a way and at about a height that has it so our point of view is right about there. So because it's one point perspective, this is also going to be the vanishing point. The height will be um, the horizon. Horizontal eye level, sometimes I call it. And this will be the uh, the vertical line of sight. And because it's one point perspective, everything is going to be aiming towards that vanishing point. So this line right here would represent the connection between the, the ceiling and the right wall. This one here as you might imagine, <laughs> between the floor and the right wall. Or maybe maybe that's hard to see. In fact, yes, if it is, that is that would make sense. Because all these straight lines and where this is going and where that's going is 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 often fairly confusing. I'm gonna knock back things a little bit with my plastic eraser. Usually I have my kneaded eraser, but that's someplace I'm not sure where. So like my example, I'm going to, I want to discuss, I'm going to just do three of these and, and one that's clearly all the way above the horizon, one that's um, both a little bit above and a little bit below the, the horizon and one that's all the way below, as well as some things that are on the back wall. So first I'll do the, uh, these are on the right wall. And I'm going to sort of just set up some guides to help me have them um, kind of uniform. Kind of like sketching out the footprint for, for all three. I'm going to just choose that the... Uh, the top frame will be at that height and the bottom one I will turn you around so I can see where I'm drawing will be down here It is quite possible to do these in, um, in exact thirds, but I'm not going to worry about that just too much right now. So what I'm thinking about is this upper one, this 
lower. And I'm also, for this middle one, I'm going to put a little space in between there that seems like it's about right. So now I have my middle frame that's that I'm really trying to think of as being the outline, you might say, of where the back side of this will be against up against the wall. I find it helpful to be able to think of extruding things, sort of expanding things, both towards the vanishing point as well as away from the vanishing point. So because this is one point perspective, all of my horizontal lines are gonna be straight. Straight side to side. Vertical lines are gonna be straight up and down and it's just this one set of lines that will be angling towards the center vanishing point. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna really think about these corners. And I'm just going to start by sketching a straight horizontal from each of these points. Doesn't have to be exact, doing it a little too dark probably, but and I'm going to do that for each of these. Can get easy to sort of uh, angle these when you have so many guidelines and things kind of screaming and telling you what what is straight across and what is angled so just take it slow some weird going on there I don't want I don't want to uh, I I goofed on the did I no I'm okay <laughs> at least I think I am see how non-confusing this perspective stuff is I need to clarify that that was the point where the back wall meets the floor yeah I'm okay hopefully that's a good good example of Yes, more of a go easy on yourself. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna sketch in the um, this side of my frames, and I'm gonna use my straight edge to get those semi even. And at this point, I don't want to guess this width because that will actually be um, that will need to uh, correspond with what where this vanishing point would connect with that one. So this line, this guide that I just made, will be the the front top edge of that frame. I'm going to, um, so now that I know that, that tells me the widths of all of those. But now like I did for that, I'm also going to finish doing that for the point from here to the vanishing point. I already have this guide that's going to represent the, uh, the lower back edge. And even though it's a little bit tricky to see, part of the point in making sure I kind of understand 
each scenario of if it's above the horizon or below the horizon or a little bit on each side of the horizon how it's going to appear remind me next time to make sure I know where my needed eraser is before beginning to record I'm gonna um, erase out a little bit of that to make it hopefully a little bit more clear and so this guide that I had here is going from the back to the back and now I want from the uh, more of the front upper corner and in a similar way for this one that's a little bit above and a little bit below I want a guide from that lower corner I'll keep clarifying that. I could, um, there is an, I, I could imagine where the back edge is. I guess maybe I will, maybe I will just to say I did. It's, it's not going to be, it's going to be out of, it's going to be blocked. So we won't be able to see that back edge. Now I have this point from the bottom right front. Ooh, that's a lot uh, point of this frame heading towards the vanishing point. That one heading towards that. And I think that's everything. And once again, I need to erase. Actually, I'm going to strengthen up this one. It's kind of unclear. And the back edge. So just as I can see, hopefully this is not, not earth shattering to you, but just as I can see the bottom edge, the bottom side, I should say, of the one that's above horizon, and I'm going to erase out the uh, the back guides. And if it's across the horizon, some above and some below, I won't be able to see either the top or the bottom of it. And I'll clean this guy up a little bit. And for the lower one, lost you, I'd be able to see this top, top side. In hindsight, it might have been smart to uh, do a, a little bigger demonstration. So these, these edges, sides, were a little bit more clear and easier to pick out. But um, that should be okay. I have confidence in you. You're bright. You'll figure it out. Speaking of figuring things out, now I'm going to do how I would extrude something towards me sort of all, all this is sort of like kind of trying to think of as projecting or extruding towards the the middle of the room away from the walls but towards the in, inside room as opposed to towards the outside but what i'm going to do is for the back wall i'm going to create 
a little, uh, the, the footprint of a little frame. that is above the horizon, the line of sight, and one that is below as well. Those are not so uniform, but that's okay. And here's where, for me, I really, it, and maybe I'll do like a big one over here too that does both. It's partly above and partly below. What's tricky here for me is to really kind of think about what the heck direction is what the heck direction. So this vanishing point I want to think of as sort of infinity farthest away. So if you've seen me, been watching me draw, sometimes I'll go from a point and go towards that vanishing point. But it's also, and, and in most of the examples, you'll, you'll see sort of one or the other. But I, I've been finding it really helpful um, to be able to both think of how it would go from this point away to the vanishing point, as well as, well as what would happen if it was starting at this vanishing point and coming towards us. Because that's that's really kind of the only way I'm really, at least right now, I'm really able to kind of visualize what the edges on these one-point perspective things that are coming towards us would be. Because I know that I want it to be getting closer to me. So this is furthest away, and I want this to angle towards that vanishing point. Same idea here. So this is a frame that's that's coming towards me, which I've been explaining several times, but this one's darn close to the ceiling. But that's what that's the angles I'm, I'm going to want for for that particular one. And in a similar fashion, I'm just going to keep identifying the corner points of the uh, the the outline of the part of the frame that's up against the wall and these lines I'm going to go from furthest away 